So, Alex, I come to you first. How bad was that Dortmund uh, result? It was bad. It was bad. But uh, we are here on the, for the long run, you know. Uh, we just uh, at the fourth round of fixtures. We are in great profit. Uh, we are coming after a brilliant uh, uh, week of the international break. Uh, we are cautious uh, this week in all uh, uh, the leagues. And most important, because Champions League and the Europa League are happening next week. So exactly caught in the middle between the international break and the European Cups, you know. Very, very tough spots, but I think that uh, we again have some winners for you. Radak, how did you uh, enjoy the Euro 2020 qualifiers? Did you manage to pick a few winners? Uh, not at all. I don't watch them. <laughs> I don't care. Really? Yeah, a lot of people are like that, though. Does that surprise you? Mm, I'm into this, uh, club football, so I'm, that's, um, I'm, I'm not really proud of my national team, uh, which are the Germans, <laughs> because they had a very bad uh, uh, World Cup, and uh, I decided to, to keep away from watching them uh, uh, next uh, month. Uh, saves me a lot of bad time. Well, you'll be pleased to know that we went with uh, Germany and Holland, both teams to score an over. We went with uh, Germany minus one against uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, wow. Yes. How did you know and, that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Serge Nabry getting the 91st minute. I mean, Alex gets his crystal ball out. He loves a last minute goal. Uh, listen, lads, we've got off to a decent start in Bundesliga. Rafa, can we have a look at the record, please? There we go. Average price, 2.06. That's your doing, Radak. 61.5% accuracy. That's, that's unbelievable, you two. And profit of eight. Well, let's see if we can add to that. Let's kick straight off. Dusseldorf, 3.2. Draw, 3.7. Wolfsburg, 2.25. Alex, take me away. Uh, yeah, I'm going for the away side. Uh, Wolfsburg at 2.2. Uh, I have two bets for this match. First of all, Wolfsburg at 2.2. And after that, the, the Alex Classic, both team to score and the over 2.5 goals in the match at 1.9. Uh, Dusseldorf very, very uh, bad in their defense. Imagine that uh, their goalkeeper, Stefan, um, uh, Stefan, or how you call it in Germany, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but he saved the most uh, uh, shots uh, this term, 20. And next of, after him are uh, some uh, goalkeepers with uh, 11 shots. So they are dreadful in, uh, in their defense. Uh, how many times he can save Dusseldorf? How many times? Tell me, you have, tell me. I think that uh, Wolfsburg are by far the better side between the two. Wolfsburg lost some uh, great players in the summer transfer window. And I'm going... Uh, Dusseldorf lost some great players in the transfer window. And I think that Dusseldorf, uh, Wolfsburg should get the away win at 2.2. But I fancy also the Alex Classic here because Dusseldorf are always a tough, uh, um, a tough team to play against when they are at uh, in front of their uh, um, fans. So I'm going... Both team to score and the over 2.5 goals at 1.9. Yeah, it looks like a safe play, Alex. Let's move on. Let's go Cologne, 2.7. Draw, 3.7. And Borussia Mönchengladbach, 2.65, Redick. Yeah, I expect a um, really clear win of the away team here as well. Um, I think Gladbach is the way better team. And uh, Cologne is new in the uh, league. They made three uh, games which were really good, um, but uh, they just managed to win one game and they had um, good appearance. But I think Gladbach is one of the five best teams in Germany this year and uh, they can fight uh, for the Champions League uh, if they um, yeah, manage to, to grow to a team. And uh, that's why they have to beat Cologne. It's a derby. They, the uh, cities are very close to each other, both on a nice river. <laughs> and so uh, the price for Mönchengladbach is ridiculous high here um, because Gladbach uh, didn't uh, show their real face in the first three games. And I think they, they will get uh, better and better um, from game to game. 
And that's why I would say I would bet on Mönchengladbach, but there's another option to just uh, take the Asian Handicap Zero on Mönchengladbach that you get your money back if it's a draw. And that is uh, the odds for that are still uh, around two. And uh, yeah, I think that that is a, a bet you can't do anything wrong, even if you lose it because it was the right bet afterwards. OK, so you've got Munch and Glad back. Draw no bet, 1.97. Alex, you wanted to come in then? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. He said uh, five good teams from Bundesliga. So who is missing this, uh, uh, this top five? Eintracht? Uh, definitely, yeah. Eintracht uh, is way over the... Um, yeah, they, they overperformed. They are very uh, the overrated right season. now after after losing so many important players uh, in the summer transfer window. So, do you think that Gladbach are better than Eintracht Frankfurt uh, this uh, this season? Yeah, for sure. Well, listen. Let me let me interrupt both of you. When Eintracht play Munch and Gladbach, it's both teams to score and over. Let me tell you that now. Because that will be the battle, because it will be the up-and-comer against the one that's trying to just cling on. OK, Radak, I like that. 1.97, draw no bet, but you're not putting anyone off Munch and Gladbach at 2.65. Let's move on to the naughty step, the very naughty step. Borussia Dortmund, 1.8, draw 4.1, Leverkusen, 4.25, Alex. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I don't see anything uh, else than uh, goals here. Uh, I, I can see if uh, the, if the um, uh, news are uh, OK and we, we see that Akanji, Nico Schulz and most important Axel Witzel uh, is ruled out for this game. Both of uh, all three of them are doubtful. Axel Witzel for me is the brain from the midfield for Borussia Dortmund right now. If he is missing, I would go a, a draw double chance on Leverkusen there uh, to, to pull off the upset uh, on the road uh, against the Borussia Dortmund. I'm a huge Borussia Dortmund fan, but uh, we are here to make money. I'm going all the way. They are the one of the most thrilling uh, teams uh, uh, in uh, Bundesliga. They are scoring goals for fun. They have absolutely... Uh, huge firepower, both uh, uh, Dortmund and Leverkusen. It's a little bit short, the price here at 1.66, but I'm going both in to score and over 2.5 goals in the match. I would go both in to score and over 3.5 goals in the match if we had that uh, option, but unfortunately we don't have it. So I will stick with uh, my Alex Classic at 1.66. OK, well, I can add this is number three of the uh, the parlay for uh, La Liga, Bundesliga and Serie A. We're taking two from each and I've gone with Dortmund. I've gone with Dortmund to just outgun them. I, I, I was even going to go Dortmund and both teams to score. But I thought Dortmund, they owe me after last week. I'm going to give them another chance. And at one point eight in a You're place. Afraid. Yeah, I, well, I, I'm just going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him a chance because I think at home, on the front foot, I think, I think they'll score goals. Um, but let's move on. Hoffenheim, 1.75. Draw, 4.3. Freiburg, 4.6. Looks like the easiest game on paper to, uh, to choose the home side, Radek. <laughs> Yeah, um, I took this pick uh, in the afternoon or yesterday on Hoffenheim. But uh, the more I think about it, the more I don't like it because the price <laughs> is very low on Hoffenheim here. And they didn't prove that they are a very uh, good team in this season so far. And I am uh, tend to bet uh, on Hoffenheim whenever I can. But uh, in this case... Um, they will struggle against Freiburg because uh, the team is not that bad. And But Hoffenheim has to prove that they are not uh, that bad and they have to win this home game and show their uh, few fans that they are still a good offensive uh, a, a goal-scoring uh, team. And yeah, I think at the end it, it could be close, but um, Hoffenheim will win. But I don't really like the odds. I think they had to be a little bit uh, higher. Well, I love the odds because uh, obviously you send over your selections, and I, as everyone does, and I pick the best ones on my own merits. So I stick Hoffenheim in. 
And now the person who gives me Hoffenheim is now reversing <laughs> out of it. Well, it's too late. Hoffenheim is leg four of the European parlay. Alex, we're going to go to Union Berlin. 2.87, draw 3.6, Werder Bremen 2.55. Tight old game this. Union Berlin, who pull off, pulled off uh, one of the huge, huge upsets uh, so far this season in the uh, in the German Bundesliga. I'm sure that uh, we will have more huge upsets uh, all season long. I think that also Bayer will lose uh, some uh, crazy games. Uh, I think also uh, Dortmund will lose some more because I don't understand that uh, after transferring uh, some good uh, uh, centre backs, Dortmund is losing uh, away at Union Berlin. Yes, Union Berlin deadly on the break against Dortmund. They uh, they gave away the possession. I think that they have around 25% against Dortmund possession and only a few shots on target. I don't know, but every time they went uh, on the break there. They were uh, ready to, to score against Dortmund. They, you, you must love these uh, small sides uh, when they are playing uh, at home because they are absolutely giving everything. And the fans love uh, uh, this energy and they are pushing them from the back. They are putting their soul on the pitch there. You must love seeing them playing against the big guns like Dortmund. Werder Bremen on the other side, the same exciting team like last season, uh, going great going forward. Uh, I'm sure that we'll see a thrilling match. I don't know what to say uh, in terms of uh, who will win this game. Uh, but uh, again, I think that uh, this week it will be a, a lot of Alex, Alex classics in uh, Bundesliga. So again, I'm going both teams to score and the over 2.5 goals at 1.9. And a few days ago, I said that I see six of them. Uh, well, uh, Anne S was saying to me, which let's uh, let's predict which one of them will not come as an Alex Classic uh, this uh, this round in the German Bundesliga. But I think that that's next from Radek. Yeah, got your crystal ball out again. Let's move on. We're going to go Mans. 2.4, draw 3.4, Herfa Berlin 3.1. Radak, where have you found the angle? Mm, yeah, that's a very special game because Mainz uh, is uh, last in the uh, in the standings and Hertha Berlin is pre-last and um, <laughs> both uh, had games against Bayern Munich and on the first game day Hertha Berlin made a 2-2 in Munich which was uh, the first upset. Uh, everyone thought, oh, 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 that's be too easy for Dortmund this year. But uh, Dortmund right. is not perfect, we saw last uh, game day. And Mainz, on the other hand, lost 6-1 against uh, Bayern Munich and they almost had no chance. And in this game, I think both teams are very... Um, they have fear to lose the game and they struggle to score goals because each of the two uh, teams has only scored two goals so far and both uh, Hertha Berlin goals were against Bayern Munich and uh, they were really surprising. So uh, make it short, I, I think there will be uh, a very few goals to bet on under 2.5 goals uh, would be uh, I think a good decision in my eyes. Yeah, Alex <laughs> complains. So, so, sorry to interrupt you, but I think that in these matches um, we should go with the home side. I think that uh, the home or the home side has the advantage here. Uh, yes, I know that uh, Hertha managed to uh, keep uh, Bayern Munich to a uh, two-two draw, but uh, Hertha lost to Schalke, who is losing 3-0 to Schalke and <laughs> failing to con to score a goal. It's dead, in Alex, my opinion. Alex, well, why Radak finishes? Why don't I give you some homework? Find me a price. Both teams to score. No. Radak. Take it away. Uh, yes, I, I, I didn't want to pick a winner here because I, I can't, because they both uh, are very, very weak in the offense and I think they don't want to lose. So that's a clear draw. Uh, I don't bet on the draw. I bet on under 1.5 goals. The odds for that are 4.2 or anything around that. You have to uh, look up uh, for yourself. But I think uh, it's a classy 0-0 zero, zero game. And uh, yeah, 
I don't want to pick a winner here. So that is my uh, crazy special erotic pick this week. 4.2 is great. What about nil-nil, as you said, at 13? And both teams to yeah, score you can do no, that. Alex? 2.25. Oh, you know the Flashman's having both teams to score <laughs> no at 2.25. I think we've got it surrounded there, gentlemen. Cue the free all draw. OK, let's go to the game of the weekend. RB Leipzig, 3.9 at home, draw 4.1 and Bayern 1.9. Big price Bayern, Leipzig score goals. What's happening, Alex? Yeah, Leipzig score goals, Bayer score goals. They just hit uh, two double digits uh, in terms of goals, uh, being the first side to do that in three matches. 11 goals so far. Lewandowski, six of them. Timo Werner on the other side, five of them. Uh, the best defense there with RB Leipzig. Just uh, two goals uh, conceded uh, in three matches. Um, Leipzig being the, 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 the only team so far with the maximum points after three matches. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough match. It's a, it's a clash. I don't think that the Bayer will let this, uh, uh, will let, will leave this away like that. I think that they are determined to, uh, to lead after this round. And to do that, I think that uh, they will go for the win there. I said to you that I love uh, Julian Nagelsmann. I love RB Leipzig. Uh, also, Radek loves them uh, to be contenders for the title this season. Um, I but don't I love him. That, uh, but I think that they must wait for another season because here are the big guns. Coutinho uh, came uh, last round against Mainz. Uh, his first appearance uh, was substituted at 4-1. Uh, I think, in my opinion, he did a great game. Um, yeah, I think that uh, we are we are. We are in for an entertaining match. Alex Classic screams here at uh, both teams to score at over 2.5 goals in the match at 1.66. Uh, but I have to go with uh, Bayern Munich here at 1.9 to win away at Leipzig. And I, and I suppose you wouldn't put many people off Bayern Munich to win and both teams to score. Absolutely, no, no. Which, <laughs> which is one of my favourite Bundesliga bets uh, this season, but not in this round. OK, well, if I gave you, uh, Radak, if you can give me your uh, your best bet of this round of Bundesliga matches, what would it be? I think Gladbach Asian Handicap Zero against Cologne. OK, that's draw no bet at well, like 1.97, maybe two in a place. So I'll star that for you, Radak. Uh, Alex, give me your best, please. Uh, I must go with Union Berlin, Werder Bremen, Alex Classic at 1.9. Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Radak, until next week, I bid you farewell and have a great weekend.